Hello once again, it's your boy Moon, and we're back for the final of the 3v3. The one that usually trips us up, round three. Uh, we're up against MGM, representing Order 66, Bento Basque. And yeah, this one was a little bit of a funny one in terms of um, add an Arctic lorry uh, that turned up. We're full of stock today. So yeah, you can fit a lot on an Arctic lorry, let's put it that way. So a huge, huge day at work in terms of like, oh God. And then Baby Moon had, she woke up from her afternoon nap later than uh, later than usual. So she had started it later and then woke up later. And you can tell I'm tired at the moment because the commentary is going to be awful. Uh, let me let me just put that disclaimer out there right now. Uh, let's have a look at his roster. He's obviously going for a rate. He's pretty close. Resistance heroes still got to go. Um, so there's a slight bit of inflation. He's 5.714, so he's actually a little bit ahead of me. So it should set us up for a decent, uh, decent final fight anyway. So front line, I don't quite know in this video why I didn't show back line. Um, but at the back line, it's mainly made up of scoundrels anyway. They seem to do all right and they seem to negate banners. So, um, so yeah. So that's what we're looking at. Rogue One, I've not seen for a long time. Uh, this guy, true to form on Star Wars Galaxy Heroes.gg, saves pretty much everything for offense, very offense heavy. Um, so, the first part of this battle I did on um, uh, while I was, you know, uh, in work and on lunch, of course, not during company time. And uh, yeah, so did this uh, did this earlier on in the day, let's say. And yeah, Malik, I'm not really too bothered about the uh, the newt stuff. Uh, obviously, it's like almost immune to health effects stuff. So things like exposes, things like um, dots, and weirdly enough, Dooku stuff. So, and I don't think a relic three droidica will will one shot there. So didn't really get the chance to get those stacks up. Um, so yeah. He's going to roll it up. I'm not, as I said, I'm not really too bothered. I fully expect this one to uh, go exactly as planned. Okay, so there's a first, well, there's a second stack, actually. And we are getting through it. Okay. Yeah, as I said, it's, um, I mean, Malik's defense just goes crazy. Um after like two and three, I can't remember exactly which one it is. And yeah, so this one's fairly easy. Misplay there, should have gone for Newt and let the fear go. Uh, another drain there. We're on number three now, so this is all she wrote. Nice big hit there. I don't think Newt is going to stand much of a chance here in all honesty. And there we go. Well, there he goes first time. Um, but as I said, this is this went sort of exactly to plan. Um, it was a decision between this team and Rebels, and in hindsight, mm, okay, I'll get onto that because first and foremost we do bounty hunters. So I thought I would go with um, speed was a little bit lower, so it's easier to control with uh, first order. First order faction is all about control. I, the more I use this faction, the more I've enjoyed it. I've said it all the way through as I've been gearing them up for Kylo. Uh, really, really like this faction. We are pretty close, actually. Um, not too far. It's just that gear 13 uh, gear grind that is the, the nightmare. Honestly, do not underestimate it at all because it is, it is rough and it's taken so much enjoyment out of the game for me. However, you know, I'd saying that, uh, I mean, the, the general Skywalker event, uh, that was horrendously tough and that was, uh, hugely um i mean it probably took me about six to eight hours the second time it came around and managed to get it but i felt a huge sense of achievement after it and it kind of reminds me that actually the things in this game you know it's not more so about the end product it's about the journey and i mean i'm having fun with the rest of the uh, rest of the first order at the moment so yeah, as I said, I'm 
great 3v3, great 5v5 as well. And okay, so this was the other one. So Malik, it was a choice between Malik, the top one or the bottom one. So I decided with um, with Newt, because I've done Newt battles before with Rebels, and it's always a little bit tough to get banners, uh, especially if it's a quick Newt as well. So I decided to go Rebels in against this. Just check in health and speed on Infit's Nest and speed on Django Fett. What I don't want, it is quick enough just. But what I didn't want is to time out versus this squad. Uh, I've done it before in 5v5 with C3PO in there. <laughs> and yeah, uh, a little bit harder on 3v3, but you've just got to micromanage it a little bit. So I'm I'm in an R in here. I'm just wondering whether to go for Django or whether to go for Emphis Nest here. And decide to cheese Emphis Nest a little bit. So again, I know her protection is going to be going up, but the the first target is going to be um, is going to be Django Fett. So no bother that I've um, that I've stunned Emphis Nest there. Really not too too worried about getting through her. And uh, switch over there. Okay, so he's going to come out of his damage immunity now. And let's finish this guy off. Let's finish him off again. And uh, got to wait for Emphis Ness coming out now. Try and get a banner back, which I didn't. So 51, a little bit disappointed. Ended the first territory with a average of 53.6. So I'll take it. I don't know if there was any other way to get a cheap counter through there. I know Rebels isn't cheap, but did the job, you know, especially with Emphis Nest. Treyer is no better with banners. And actually, Treyer is possibly more versatile than... Um, yeah, possibly more versatile than, than Rebels. Changed my mind. Uh, yeah, there we are. So he's fully attacked us. He's scored 2-4-4-3. Four, four, in the first round, we scored 2-4-7-1. Second round, we scored 2-4-6-6. So I'm feeling in pretty good shape here. I can even lose a battle and still be in with a very, very good shout of winning as well. So these guys here, uh, this is a tale as old as time. Uh, we're going to get the jump on them. And Ray with the droids works very, very well still in 3v3, even against a high uh, gear level or even relic levels. Relics, you've got to be a little bit careful with uh, if there's a huge amount of defense on Kylo Ren unmasked. Um, but... In the main, it works anyway. There isn't a huge amount of chance of timeout, but just double check on the uh, the mods on Kylo Ren and Master and Kylo Ren as well. So this one, nothing really of note at the moment, and fully expecting to take home a good batch of banners. It's just more about like efficiency at the moment. Uh, very, I mean, in Division 1, and especially at sort of 5.7 million, you definitely don't really expect your defence to hold that much until you get Galactic Legends. So, in oops, in a straight fight, you um, you, you don't really expect your defence to hold. You've just got to come up with teams that basically strip banners, um, as I said, until you get to the Galactic Legends stage of it, which, you know, I'm fairly close. And I'm actually sort of looking forward to... Um, to being able to to start on that Kylo Ren uh, Supreme Leader journey as well. So I would have thought, and so I've been free to play farming for three months and like absolutely focused farming for three months, the last three months. I've kind of documented where each and every one was and I think I've got about a m another month left. I will have to double check. Uh, I think I've got about another month till I like have hoarded everything i don't really want to super inflate i've got the guys to where i want them to be at the moment um and i'm just going to sort of hoard at the moment so yeah it's um it's one of those things annoyingly but yeah i really like the one that i might do is special forces tie fighter pilot just because he looks, uh, he looks a bad man in 3v3, you know, a uh, huge amount of damage and defense down as well. But he does a huge amount of crit damage, so it's, um, it's pretty good. Right, the thought process here. 
against Malik is Skywalker. I thought, right, I'll go a nice and easy win here. I went in with Art Trooper and Fives. First mistake, I should have gone with uh, with Rex uh, instead of Art Trooper. Reason being, I can get off the bat early, tenacity up, and it negates pretty much everything. Uh, so lesson for next time there. Uh, we'll keep going in on Darth Malik here. Okay, Sky Guy sitting down early. That's not good. Uh, we got double stuns there. Ooh. And there goes one. So I realised pretty much straight away, not a good counter. As I said, this was... Uh, this part of the battles was when I was back home and obviously looking after the daughter as well. So it's all a little bit quicker. It's less thought out, etc. But I thought I'd let you in on the thought process of it anyway, or why I went with what I went with. Um, but as I said, I was trying to use Rex for another team just in case. So next one, Geos. Now... So I would usually use this Jedi Knight Revan, Grandmaster Yoda, Joe Lee in against that Bastard Sham Fallen team and the Malak. Um, I think it works pretty well. Malak can sometimes be a little bit tricky, but for the main it works well. So I'm going to direct focus in on here. Everything is going swimmingly at this point. Remember the Jedi, each time they hit an enemy with protection, it's going to bring their health pool down. So, uh, feeling good shape at the moment. At the moment is the, the operative word here. Okay, there goes Spy. Ooh, that is going through protection quite quickly. Uh, let's do an AoE. Basically, you've got to, like, almost kill them all before you kill Gerbrid Alpha. It's, uh, it's tough going, especially if he's a tanky boy. Ooh, there goes Saviour. Okay, now come the panic stations. Right, so I've got to get through this Gerbrid Alpha, and there's a heal. Of course, that's not your battery, that's mine. Um, running absolutely on fumes. My battery feels like I do at the moment. And, of course, I've got to go through Geo Brute as well. And, okay, let's go another direct focus here. See if we can get through this health pool quickly. No, nope. we're nearly there, though. But then so is Jedi Knight Revan. So many attacks. Right, let's bring him back. And let's throw some foresight out there for now. Start whittling him down. Bang, bang, bang. So close. Come on. But as I said, this is, um, in hindsight, I would have swapped these counters as well um, because I, I really wasn't happy with the result of this. Um, Got to go in there. May as well finish him off. Uh, oh, thanks, Spy. Um, just taking a banner. And this I was on autopilot. I should have gone basic there. I didn't and obviously killed Spy too quickly. So eh, eh, there's a misplay. 51, I'll take that after such a ropey um uh, after such a ropey battle. So again, we're learning from it. It's um it's something that I had to whiz through super quick tonight. Um most of this is like actual sort of in-game footage. I try and pause it where I'm not checking mods, etc. And uh, this one's up against the Night Sisters, so very happy with this because there's not another stunner in there really. Um, Acolyte is fine with uh, with these AOEs, but I don't like the Tals in lead also with Daka because of the extra potency and you can just get stun locked. Not so bad in 3v3. But when you think about it, Daka double stun. Um, yeah, that's um, that's pretty good, you know. Right, there goes Mother Tells in. And we've just got to wait for a couple of AoEs now. And it's banner management mode. So happy with this one as always. The bounty hunters performing. Mm, nowhere near contract. I thought that one would do double damage, but I don't know whether it's because it's under stealth or what. I thought it dealt to like a random ally as well. We go dealt with um, dealt with acolyte. Okay, so now I can like pretty much strong arm these teams. So Sith Empire, um, happy with that. No issues here. Now the reason I use Sith Empire here now it's Rex lead and it's got fives as well. Okay, so we can get fear out there. Should have gone fear here again, but um, I'm not going to micromanage it too much. Right, some grenades out there. So 
focus fire goes on to fives. Should have shocked there probably. So poor turn meter management. Nearly there, death mark is on, so we don't have a choice of where to go now. However, death mark, interesting. Uh, he won't sacrifice. Well, he will sacrifice, but because of death mark, he won't come back. So uh, there's a little strat for you if you're ever stuck up against it. Mm, right, so Galactic Republic here. I was thinking of using Kenobi, but then I realized I put him on defense. So it's going to be these threes. This was the other team that I was thinking of using against Geos. Oh, apologies. Yawning in a video again. It is getting late here now in the UK. It's probably like, what is it, 20 to 12? So I thought I'd bang it out though, get it out of the way. So again, I have zero, but I've got a strong arm this team. I can't take in junk here or Imperial Troopers or whatever. That Relic 7 stick ray is uh, is no joke, really. It's This one is just about banner management. You can't always get good banners with Padme. But 54, I will take that. And it's one of the tougher teams here. You know, I've got Rogue One and I've got Old Republic. So Empire's going to do the job for me this time. And this is hopefully another 54. Right, there it goes. Okay, hit that. Um, my Vader's pretty trash, actually, uh, in all honesty. It's not that good. But uh, farming for a, for a GL, uh, honestly, you cannot get sidetracked. Vader will happen very, very soon. Because after I'm not doing Ray, I'm going to go straight for Jedi Knight Luke. So that is the, as I said in the last one, that is the roadmap for the next three months or so. Finish up Kylo Ren and then get the requirements for Jedi Knight Luke. And then I'll have a decide on what I want to do. Whether I want to um, start farming the Resistance Heroes, Poe and Finn, because I think they're two very good characters anyway. Or do I want to go, um, do I want to go like something completely left field? I don't know yet. Although by then we may well have new Galactic Legends coming. Uh, Jin does have the, the Zeta on her, so I'll take that out first. Uh, do like the Shakti Team 3v3. It has decent potential to recover banners as well. Uh, lots of attacks out of turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, there they all go. I've got full banners, full protection. Let's just get rid of him. Oh, we don't. So missed out on one there, but I don't think I could have done much more. So just as expected, I'm seeing uh, rebels on the fleet. I am surprised that he managed to get through the negotiator without a hound's tooth, although obviously it is possible. Um, but he he did very, very well on ships actually to one shot it as well. I probably need about, I think it's like 30 something banners here, 39 banners I think it was. So need to make it count, not really, I will leave, uh, I flirt with the idea of Millennium Falcon but then decide against it just because I think this is this is an absolutely fine team, this isn't, uh, this isn't really an issue. And Hyena Bomber is like absolute MVP, such a good ship. Okay, I may as well go for Biggs first because I know I'm going to get stuck in Taunt. Then Hyena Bomber is going to um, uh, not suck up too many debuffs, but I'm going to cleanse that, get an extra stack there, get an extra droid out. And we did get the stun, that's nice. So now I can target him. Uh -uh, gone. And I've kind of got to wait for like there. Okay. Let's go Vulture Droids here. Nice, we're making good inroads into that Bosk. Um, at this point, I was thinking AoE, but then uh, if I can force a Taunt over here, brilliant. Brings her out of stealth and gone. Uh, I'm going to throw that, get the head start on a, um, a Vulture Droid over there. Okay, and job done. So that was 61 from that. A little bit low on banners uh, compared to the Negotiator. Uh, so we got 2, 4, 6, 5 this time. So we finished 22 points ahead, um, which is quite a significant margin anyway. Uh, come to think of it, 
we will be going into okay so silly me i've already done the undersized fleet victories so i'm annoyingly in that part where it's chromium uh, so it looks like we're going to be facing some tough opponents again i've got to remember not to collect those feats up straight away because you've got so long to do them it just doesn't make any sense to collect them straight off and give yourself a harder one however uh we're looking for a good fight so again it, it is what it is we're sitting at 180 but there are two guild mates uh in doom Riga who are actually ahead of me so um so yeah although good stat there was around about 100,000 nearly 100,000 players in division one registered this time around um so it's a good it's a nice start anyway let's put it that way so it's a three and oh no drop battles throughout the uh, the first week uh, all one shot and we did okay on defense as well and only this last guy mm, i don't think my defense is that good i'm going to try and play a bit more to the man rather than zone uh, i don't know i might get some outside uh, consultation on uh on the defenses so there we go right i'll leave you to it because i'm off to bed now hope you enjoyed if you have please feel free to leave a like a comment um and a subscribe if you're new around here as well and you've lasted this long uh because this is definitely not a video for commentary or um the algorithm getting hold of it I will see you all next time. We will have some tougher opponents next time. We'll have guys who know exactly what they're doing. They'll have won all three of the last matches. So looking forward to that and uh, good luck with all yours as well. Cheers, guys.